We welcome the High Commissioner's update. Though we have seen a human rights progress in the ground in the Philippines and the crisis of accountability persists, the UN National Joint Program for Human Rights adopted in July 2021 has minimal prospects to improve the situation, particularly given the obvious lack of political will to do so. Those who protect human rights and call for justice continue to be targeted and attacked. Activists have been killed over the year, both by security forces and unknown individuals, following reports of them being red tagged. Widespread and systematic killing of thousands of alleged drug suspects continue. Accountability for these actions are non-existent. Others, like 64-year-old human rights worker Teresita Naul, were arrested on trumped-up criminal charges without due process. Senator Laila de Lima remains in prison for politically motivated charges because of her actions to investigate killings in the drug war. The Draconian Anti-Terror Act, adopted in 2020, appears to be aimed at further criminalizing dissent. Justice is about holding perpetrators of rights violations accountable, reparations for the victims, and the non-repetition of the crimes and atrocities committed. None of this will be forthcoming under the current administration or the current resolution. We urgently call on the Human Rights Council to establish an overdue independent investigation in the Philippines. Thank you.